I am John Batson. My brothers and I operate a business on the island of Barbados in the West Indies called Streamline Steelworks. We have been hearing about BP receiving help in fixing the leak in the Gulf. As one person said, from a lowly plumber, and the next person said, to a little white boy. What we are ready to hear next is the help they got from the Tooth Fairy, or probably Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If there was some sort of Pinocchio effect that we could invoke here, some persons or person at BP would end up with a very long nose. So here and now, we just take the facts as they are, so the public can really determine whose ideas were used to stop the leak in the Gulf. Let's take a look at the events as they unravel. Air for the 20th, the water horizon explodes and catches a fire. April 22nd, the rig sinks to the ocean floor. April 24th, attempts to use shallow valve fail. May the 7th, BP 110 containment balloon fail. May the 13th, 6 inch siphon straw is inserted into the tube. But that up of itself did not work because the amount of all that they were catching in comparison to what was flowing into the ocean was minuscule. From the 13th of May, right, back to the time, the 20th of May, everything took place. BP had no way of effectively capping the oil the bottom of the ocean. Basically, they had tried everything that they had and everything they had in the arsenal had failed. The top kill had failed only to the fact that it was inadequately prepared for. There was no light at the end of the tunnel for BP until we got ourselves into the picture from the 25th. And that's when BP began to have some sort of success as far as containing some of the leakage. Until that time, BP had nothing, you know, in the arsenal to deal with this here. On May the 13th, BP introduced a siphon pipe, something similar to this here. What happened is they took the pipe, the six inch pipe, and they inserted it into the 21 inch pipe, right, and started uh, sucking the oil from the 21 inch pipe. Basically, this thing carries an appearance in me like a child pacifier, right? But I'm of the opinion that uh, this year was, in this case, a people's pacifier. Because just like uh, a child would be able to gain no sustenance from a pacifier, right? The little results that BP would have been getting from this year would have been about in the same realm. The amount of all that was leaking in the Gulf, right, would have been great in comparison to the minuscule amount that they would have been collecting. On May the 18th, that's when we got in the fray. We sent a letter off to BP stating that we have the, developed something called a Batson's plant, which we can guarantee which fixed the, the leak in the Gulf. The next set of information sent to BP was on May the 25th. And in this information that we sent off, we told BP that the way forward is to look at those three leaks in the riser pipe and turn those three leaks into one by cutting the pipe, cutting the riser pipe closest to the block preventer. That way, rather than having three leaks to deal with, you would only have one to contend with. We also told them not to be too concerned about the all flow at any greater work rate, owing to the fact that the drill bit has already been lodged in the uh, razor pipe, and that would have been limiting the flow of, of uh. After that, 
was done. Some people uh, said that the pipe was leaking heavier, but as far as we are concerned, that was not the case. It is just that owing to the fact that we took all three leaks and centralized them at one point, the plume would have appeared to be bigger. What BP should have done is wise. The robotic arm is cutting, was making the cut with the chalk saw. Right? What they should have done is to get another one of the submersibles to pull on the above pipe to make way for clearance of the chop saw. By doing that, the pipe will not be biting down on the blade of itself, which caused them eventually to have to abandon the, the idea after cutting a substantial way through and then use a shears in order to do the job. All they needed was the next submersible pulling on it to keep that gap in there open and would have been able to make a clean cut. In order to secure the final distance in the cut, they were forced to employ the use of a shears. But as you will know, right, this is a scissors, and if you're cutting metal, uh, as it is, this is a straw I'm using, right? It's obvious that when you cut down, you're going to damage the end of itself. Because as the straw, the plastic will just pop back in place, the metal remains with that uh, jagged edge. So that's what they end up doing with the jagged edge. In spite of that, they were successful <coughs> in turning the three leaks into one. Yes. Then they place the cap on, right? Which is yeah, still only a, a, a temporary stop because the cut wasn't a clean cut, and even if it was a, a precise cut, you would have still had some oil escaping. But at least it would have been able to get more oil done 